Hello guys, today we make cheese, keep in uh, fix leaves. This is the translation from Italian language. We call formaggio in foglia di fico. What the meaning? I explain and you will read properly in the title, I hope, because I don't know if you can find this in other countries. Because uh, it's very difficult to find a fresh milk, so today we will use the milk from the supermarket, the one that you buy in uh, the fridge of the supermarket. We will use two liters of uh, fully fat milk, I hope that is the right name, different country, different name. So is the milk that you buy in the fridge, remember, two liters. Also, we will use fresh cream, the fat inside is 36%, more is fatty, better will be the cheese, plus we need two teaspoon of sea salt, the juice of half lemon, and naturally we need the leaves from the fig tree and also a little bit of wood. So now we'll go to take the leaf and I will explain you when I collect it. So let's go. Plus uh, here in Italy is spring, so the leaves are very soft. Now we take a branch, a small one like 10 centimeters, like this, with some leaves and I will go back to the kitchen. Now with a sharp knife, we cut the leaves, so we remove the leaves. And if you can, you should cut the wood in two pieces. If you cannot, you need to cut a little bit of skin. In this way, the uh, enzymes or the things that are inside the wood will go in the milk. After we put the wood in the pot, we add the milk, we add the cream, we on the stove. When we reach the temperature of 50 Celsius degree, we off the stove, we close with the lid and we should wait at least 30 minutes. Wait in the 30 minutes, we can take our baskets and the leaves and we can prepare before that we make the cheese. So you take the leaves like this, you put on one of the baskets, like this, and after you put the other one on the top and you smash. In this way, the leaves will take the shape of the cheese for later. Naturally, when you will put the cheese inside, you should remove the basket inside because we want the cheese stay in contact uh, with the leaves. After 30 minutes, we remove the stick from our pot. We add the salt, we stir very well. After we add the juice of the lemon, only half lemon, remember, and we on the fire. At a certain point, you will see the curd that will be divided from the whey. You take the curd, should be still hot, and put in your baskets. And with the other basket, you need to press uh, the curd. In this way, the cheese will be uh, will less air inside, it will be more good. I explain this now because I don't want to explain when I'm doing the process, if not, if the curd 
start to become cold, the curd cannot stick together. So remember, very important, the curd should be hot. So directly from the pot inside your basket. Please, when you press with the other basket, do with moderation. Because if you press too much, too strong, the cheese will go out from the holes. Mm. Be careful, gently. After five hours at room temperature, the whey is already gone in the dish and I throw it away. Now we can uh, put our cheese in the fridge. Tomorrow will be more hard and we can uh, put upside down, adding the other leaves. Don't worry the leaves until tomorrow uh, will survive, we can say. Maybe they will be a little bit soft but even better will be easier to put uh, on our cheese here is a small uh, cheese that i have done yesterday so now that i show you uh, the big one i show you also the small one see you tomorrow to go ahead with the recipe you can notice that now it's still soft so we should put in the fridge and this one is more hard, so we can already remove from the basket. After 24 hours, you can see that the cheese now is a little bit smaller. And there is a way in the dish. Also the small one I put upside down with new leaves on the bottom. So we should do the same with this cheese, very easy. We take our cheese, one leaf. I will use the big one so it's more easy to cover all the cheese. And you do like this and you put upside down and after you put again the cheese in the baskets and we put in the fridge for other five days, more or less. After, if you have a basement, you can put the cheese in a basement. The best temperature is 10 Celsius degree. If not, you can keep in the fridge. After five days, you can remove from the basket. After five days, we can remove our cheese from the baskets and we should put upon something that uh, the air can pass through. So in my case, I will use the bamboo. 
that uh, I made it for my dryer. You can use uh, other kind of wood. For example, I know that you uh, bought the sushi mat. I hope that is the right name. And you never use it. Now you can use for your cheese, or also you can use to make homemade pasta. So we put uh, something upon a dish like this, and we put the cheese on the top and we store it in the fridge. Or if you have a basement with 10 Celsius degree, more or less 10, will be even better. But remember, every day or every other day, you need to turn upside down your cheese. In this way, he will mature in a balanced way. I don't know how to say in English. Because if you forgot to turn upside down, the top will be dry and the bottom will remain wet. Remember, how long you should store in the fridge or in the basement? Up to you. Some people like mature cheese, some people more fresh cheese. So up to you and after we will taste it. So see you when I will cut my cheese. Spectacular. Finally, after two months, I can test my cheese. The color is very spectacular. I already prepared a slice of bread, all uh, wheat, all grain, uh, seeds. Spectacular bread. I toast it. You will see the video of this bread maybe in the future. And also, I open one of my homemade beer. Spectacular, guys, is very, very, very creamy. So you should make it. If you make it, please let us know down in the comment if you have some advice too. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please remember to subscribe and to share all this video with your friends. Bye bye.